get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. I'm sweet, that's why they call me Deuce. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl AD here, back at it again with another video. So today, I have another special guest. Special guest time! It is Rachel from Fight Like a Girl on the TV. Hey Rachel, how are you doing? I'm fantastic, how are you Adriana? I'm great, thank you. So, everyone who's seen Quibi and seen Fight Like a Girl knows your episode has dropped. How do you feel? Um, very excited. Um, and very nervous that it's finally out. It's been so long. Um, it's there's a lot of emotions going on, uh, but it's just it's one day at a time. And whatever comes with it is always positive. Something positive will come out of it. A hundred percent. I definitely agree. I already know people who were touched by your episode emotionally. They were just like, oh my gosh, I could relate. Like people have messaged me personally, and it's just it's been great. Oh. What, if anything, would you change about either the experience or what was shown? Um, nothing that I would change about the experience. Um, probably the time limit. Quibi is so cool because it's all about quick bites and uh, people who are on the go because everyone has a couple minutes to spare. But um, I know for me personally, the other girls, um, we wish our episodes were a little bit longer. Um, just so we could share more of our story and how we got there and our transformation. Um, but hopefully they'll release more footage so people can see the whole entire process of us in the ring and us working out constantly. Because it kind of seems like the show started with, like, drab and us looking a mess. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> it's, it's like a quick montage, like a rocky montage. And then it's... Bam, magic happened. But we definitely worked really hard for 10 weeks, and I wish they showed more of that. I definitely agree, but your journey looked incredible. So you lost a total of 30 pounds. Oh my goodness. Congrats. You look great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I haven't been on the scale since I left WWE, but I'm sure I've lost a lot more. Um, I definitely continue to work out a lot um, as much as I can, and I feel a lot smaller. And things are feeling really great. That's great. As long as you feel good, you look good. Well, absolutely. It's not about the number on the scale. Exactly. So do you have any regrets, either about the show or the experience at all? Any regrets at all? No regrets because I feel life is about everything happens for a reason. Um, and there's a time and a place for everything. Um, the only true regret is that I did miss my nephew's first birthday when I was Aww. a girl. But I, the girls I met, I love. Um, they are true friends. They are people I will be friends with for the rest of my life. Um, the experience I had was one that a lot of people would cut off their head for. Right. Um, I, I love the experience I had and I wouldn't change anything. Oh, that's awesome. Um, did the show help you at all? So the premise for me of my episode was that my wedding is coming up in October. So physical change was really important to me. Um, I was at the biggest point of my life. I was at 210 pounds when I started. Um, and I just, I felt so gross inside and, and outside, like nothing fit. Um, I just like tight clothes were just, it was just terrible. So this whole experience has helped me look better and also by being with these with, well, amazing women that pushed me and I pushed them so it was a constant back and forth with positivity and encouragement and it made my change my brain and I feel like uh, a physical change comes once you have that mental change and I got that mental change through therapy with my new friends and just WWE absolutely helped me with that um, John Hayes is the, what is he, the head? Strength uh, and conditioning. Strength, yeah, coach. Um, he pushed us so, so hard. Um, and just pushing us so hard, we sweat out not the, the fat or the calories, but we sweat out all the emotions and the anger and the upset and we feel so good afterwards. And then with Serena Deeb, just the positivity that she gave us. And it was, it was just a fantastic change inside and out. 
Definitely, I agree. And you're the big WWE fan yourself, aren't you? Huge, huge, yes. So how was it seeing people that you grew up watching? Oh, shocking. <laughs> I didn't want to fangirl out, but like, how could you not? Um, it was so cool. I, but they didn't cut uh, the, or edit the uh, portion of me actually meeting Becky. Mm -hmm. But when I, for the first time, I dropped S-bomb. And I was like, what the, like, oh my God. Like, ah! was, so I'm sure that they cut that out because there's a little profanity there. <laughs> I mean, just seeing all these people, and especially when we had our big reveal, and they were cheering for us, and it was like, oh my god, I cheer for you, you're cheering for me. <laughs> but that was phenomenal. And talking to Stephanie McMahon, like, it, it surreal things. Right. My Do you still, um, at any point, talk to Becky? She seemed like, if anything, she was like the perfect match for you. Um. Yeah, uh, Absolutely. I mean, so much since she's getting married, I'm getting married at the same time, that just instantly connected us. Um, I don't at the moment. Um, she's so busy. She's, she just won the Raw Women's Champion again. Um, so she, she probably doesn't even have time to tweet or Instagram. <laughs> so I don't fault her for that. Um, but I got other friends that I, through this pro, like through this whole thing. So. Right. So you said that your wedding's in October. Do you have any worries because of this current pandemic going on? Um, originally, my wedding date was supposed to be for May. Wow. That would have been horrific because yeah. I know people are their weddings. Um, and weddings aren't cheap. It's not just like a party. No. <laughs> um, I feel that there's no true concern because mine's still in October. And that's, I mean, it's coming up fast. Um, and hopefully within the next month or two, things are getting better. Um, so I have no real concerns. Um, I already spoke to my fiance about it and God forbid there is a continuation of the pandemic. We're still getting married October 3rd. Like whether we just, him and I are standing in our bedroom, doorbells, October 3rd is our day. Oh my gosh. I just realized you're getting married on National Mean Girls Day. <laughs> That's October 3rd. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, well, I definitely hope that this pandemic, it doesn't come back because I know there was some chatter about it possibly reoccurring because of the cold season and during the summertime, it'll be exterminated. So hopefully you'll be good. October's still pretty warm, the beginning. Yeah, it's, this is crazy. This is a, a horrible new normal for us all. It's terrible. Yeah, it's definitely something out of this world that nobody's experienced. We're living in a movie. I know, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> it's insane. What's in store for you, Rachel? I truly don't know. Um, I'm at a really weird point in my life where I don't have kids. I'm about to get married. I have no, no roots. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to put roots down, whether that be with a new job or moving or something so i'm gonna but then with quarantine happening it's not like i can go out and find that job or it's we're in a really weird space right now right. um i'm not the only one feeling that the whole world is feeling it um but hopefully as soon as quarantine does end i and not so per se want to like wrestle um but i love the whole atmosphere of traveling and um working storylines and like I said, since I don't have those roots, I'm free to travel. I'm free to experience things, to help uh, produce shows. And I have the knowledge, and I've been doing this for a while, and that is my, my true goal and dream. Is that an exclusive? Does Rachel want to possibly apply to be a WWE superstar? I'm not saying no. And <gasps> I'm never um, but it's a it's hard work. I mean, we did it for 10 weeks of just intense training and it's everything that you put in your mouth matters. And it's, it's a hard, hard lifestyle. One that I, I would do, but it's hard. And those people that do it, they don't get enough credit. They truly don't. Right. They're still currently 
filming their live events in the Orlando Center, which yeah. every other sports league in the country has put to a halt. And I've noticed WWE's been getting a little bit of a worry backlash because of it. What are your thoughts on that? I, 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 I truly don't have thoughts on that. Some days I... I still want to be entertained. Mm -hmm. and, as a, and as a lover, I expect Raw on Monday night, I expect NXT on Wednesday, and I expect SmackDown on Friday. Um, especially since we are quarantined, we need some kind of entertainment. Um, but safety uh, always comes first. And I do know there's a lot of travel. Um, I know that all the superstars aren't in Florida all the time. So they are going back home. Um, I do know Becky is with Seth in um, Iowa, I think. Um, so she and she is back and forth on Monday nights for a run. So is he. So they're still flying. And the it's, it's kind of scary that it, it's okay for them to continue to work with no one else. So it's, it's, it's honestly, it's, Especially when WWE has the enough episodes or things to either replay old things from the '90s or old pay-per-views, um, they have the material and the money to not have to be live. <laughs> That's actually a good idea that I don't think a lot of people have thought of replaying like a retro version in order to give the superstars you know a break and to internally like be safe is playing all their reruns their pay-per-views that's actually a good point you should pitch that to stephanie <laughs> <laughs> yeah call me Steph. there you go get paid <laughs> where can all the lovers follow you any social media yeah um twitter uh, i just started the twitter <laughs> Rachel Patty. You guys know where to find her at. Y'all know where to follow me at Evilise88 everywhere. Alrighty, make sure you like and subscribe this video down below and make sure you guys download Quibi and watch Fight Like a Girl. Mwah. Uh, Portion. You've got it in you. You're not physically struggling. I can see it. I can see you've got that strength. You're mentally struggling. This is where we build the power in our brains and then our body does what we say it will do. Beautiful.